I think to be a successful scientist, you really need a passion for what you're doing. You need to be fascinated by the questions you're addressing, and you need to be very motivated and excited by the answers you get. The goal of my research is to understand the detailed mechanisms underlying learning and memory in the human brain and really how it is that the experiences we have during our lifetime from the moment we're born to the second we die how those experiences impact on the brain and thereby modify our thoughts, feelings and behavior. We do this by studying the molecular mechanisms underlying nerve cell to nerve cell communication and understanding how that communication is modified both during learning and memory and also during various disease states such as depression and addiction and schizophrenia. It's just intrinsically fascinating when you start thinking about how is it I'm talking. <laughs> I've learned a language and it's just effortless. And how does my brain do that? I'm not sure there's going to be a single breakthrough. There have been, you know, the process of scientific discovery. I think it's going to be a more continual process of one discovery leading to another. NARSAT has been incredibly important in my career, and I can't thank them enough for their research support early in my career and their continued research support as I became a more seasoned investigator. NARSAD realizes there also needs to be a good amount of support for very basic neuroscience to understand some of the basic processes that underlie the ability of the human brain to do all the wonderful things it does. Receiving the Goldman Rakesh Prize for Cognitive Neuroscience Research is an incredibly high honor.